We Talk Nerdy. Hello everyone, this is Dave from We Talk Nerdy TV, and today I'm going to show you a technique I developed for farming enchantments and runestones at level 60. Now, nothing that I'm going to describe is any kind of earth-shattering revelation. It's all pretty obvious, but if you haven't thought of it, maybe this guide will help you. I'm farming in a mini dungeon called the Arcane Reservoir in Sharandar, so you have to be level 60 in order to do this. The quest to enter is called Repel the Dark Fey Incursion, and you can pick it up from Marisara Winterwhite. The entrance is located just behind her. The idea here is to run a small part of this dungeon over and over while the professions bonus is active. This maximizes your return on investment in time and resources. There's one really important drawback to this technique that you should be aware of. This quest has a nearly six day cooldown. So once you turn it in, you can't farm it for quite a while. Completing the quest gives you 50 Feywild Sparks, more than any other quest. So you have to choose which is more important farming the instance, or completing the quest. Before you begin, you're going to want to have a supply of nature, arcana, religion, and dungeoneering kits. You should have relatively empty bags because you're going to get a lot of stuff and you may want a good supply of health potions as well. As far as I know, this kind of farming is perfectly legitimate. You're not cheating or exploiting any flaws in the game. You're merely repeating a dungeon over and over at the right time in order to get the most out of it. As I mentioned, I only do this farming when the professions event is active. However, you can use this technique anytime, but you should get more bang for your buck by waiting for the professions event. You can check when the next professions event will be by pressing L and checking the schedule. Now that professions are up, let's get started. Oh, one last thing. The faster you can do these runs, the better. Use whatever skills you have to make this quicker. For example, the Great Weapon Fighter has a skill called Bravery, which gives me a 10% bonus to run speed, so I slot that skill in while I'm farming. You might also find that potions can help you plow through the enemies faster. This first mob is a Red Cap Wither, a Troll, and a Cyclops. I always take out the Wither first because they can heal the other two. Take out the Troll and the Cyclops, and if you can, save one or both of the Elves there. We will sacrifice them a little later on. Once you've dispatched this group, another mob of two Withers and two Poweries will spawn and enter the room. Engage them quickly, and they won't have a chance to kill your elvish friends. Next up is a group of three Withers surrounding an Arcana skill node. You can take them out quite easily and grab your loot. Next are two Withers and two Poweries again. Group them together and take them out en masse. Next up, we have three more red caps near a Religion node. It's one Wither, one Thorn, and one Giant Soul. Here again, I take out the Wither first. The Giant Souls are super annoying, so I kill him next, and then the Thorn. Often, if my daily is up, I'll use it here to try to keep this fight short. If the giant soul gets a chance to use his spinning move, or if the thorn interrupts you, it can make this fight last much longer. Grab your loot and move on. Next, we have three more withers, easily dealt with. Grab the nature skill node nearby and move on. Now, depending on your character, you may be able to bypass this next mob. Since I can sprint, I run down the left side. This is where I sacrifice my elven friends. I know it sounds cruel, but eh. The mob will engage the elf while you slip past on the left. If this doesn't work out for you, that's okay. Just kill the mob and move on. There are a couple of wandering redcaps in this area, but if you act quickly, you can loot the Dungeoneering skill node without engaging them. 
Well, that's it. Now head back out of the dungeon. There is another thievery node and a chest further on, but I've found that it takes too long to reach them. In my experience, it's best to turn back at this point and restart the dungeon. You may aggro the mob you bypassed earlier on your way out, as I did. If that's the case, keep going. You may be able to outrun them back to the entrance. If not, you'll have to kill them before you can exit. And that's it. Confirm that you want to leave, and then start over again. Sometimes, when I enter the dungeon, I find that all the skill nodes contain gray items, like this one here. It may be because I've looted too many skill nodes in a short amount of time. I really don't know. When this happens, I just turn around and reset the dungeon. This behavior usually goes away after that. Each run takes me about 3 minutes, so I can usually do it about 10 times in the 30 minutes that the Professions event runs for. So that's roughly 40 skill nodes. I ended up this time with 36 rank 3 and 11 rank 4 enchants and runestones. Also, I collected 10 green items and 3 blue ones along with various crafting supplies that I didn't keep track of. Not bad for 30 minutes farming. If you enjoyed this guide, please consider subscribing to We Talk Nerdy TV. Our motto is tech news, reviews, and how-tos. And sometimes I cover video games too. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and happy farming.